This happened when I was in high school. For some detail, I'm a female and was a junior at the time this took place. I used to walk to school and back every day because I lived pretty close to the school. So it would usually take me around 10 to 15 minutes to walk there and I would take sidewalks basically the entire way. One morning, I left when I usually did at about 7.30 a.m. because school started at 7.50. After walking out the front door and leaving my house with my backpack, I saw a car on the side of the street. It was right in front of the sidewalk where I would walk past. I had never seen it before, so I didn't know who it was. I planned to just go right past it, but when I did, I saw the passenger side window rolling down. Somebody said something, and I looked over. The car was an older, dark gray BMW, and the driver was a young-looking guy, but seemed to be a little bit older than me. He then asked me if I needed a ride to school. I had never seen this guy before, and didn't think that he even went to my school. He told me his name was, I think, Ryan, but I can't remember exactly. He said which school he went to, which happened to be a school in the Nep City over. Then he said that he was good friends with Erica, who happened to be one of my best friends. Apparently, he was going to pick her up, and she asked him to pick me up as well and give us both rides to school. I said no thanks. I had never heard Erica talk about this guy before, and it just seemed really weird. The guy asked me why not, and I said maybe some other time. I wanted to confirm with Erica if she knew this guy at all. I figured there was a chance that she was friends with him, but she hadn't said anything to me about this. Obviously, it was a little bit suspicious. The guy seemed disappointed, but ultimately said okay. I kept walking down the street as he pulled away in his car and drove past me. But right when he got past me, he stopped his car on the road. He rolled down his window again and said, Last chance. I said no again, and then he finally drove off. I walked the rest of the way to school and got there at basically my normal time. As I was walking, I texted Erica about it. In that semester of high school, my first hour class was English. By the time I got to class, I had gotten a response from Erica. I usually didn't get to see her before school because our first hour classes were on the opposite ends of the school from each other. She said that she didn't even know who I was talking about. I had a feeling that's what she was going to say. This was a mystery to me of who this guy really was and why he tried to pick me up in his car. He knew that I had a friend named Erica and he also knew where I went to school, but I didn't know him at all. During that same first hour English class, probably about 30 minutes in, the school went into a lockdown. I had no clue what it was for at the time. We had never had a lockdown before in my entire time at the school, just a few drills. We were all told to sit at the back of the class. The classroom lights were turned off and the door was locked by our teacher. We all sat in mostly silence for what felt like a really long time. It didn't really last that long though, it was probably about 20 minutes. Eventually, the lockdown was lifted. By that time, we were all very curious as to what was going on. By the end of the day, I had found out. A man apparently walked into the school after class had started and right past the receptionist. The only door that was open after class started was the front door. He was then spotted by a hall monitor who asked them for a pass. The guy walked past him without saying anything and went to the locker commons. Then he hid there and the school was locked down. Unfortunately, the guy ran out from the locker commons to the nearest exit and was able to get out. The school and property was searched, but he had gotten away. It was good that he was gone, but it was also bad that he wasn't caught. Some of us were wondering where he went, but it could have been anywhere. There was large woods behind our school, and I think they pretty much gave up on the search when they found out he wasn't on the school property anymore. Still, I had no clue who the guy was who had been inside the school. I didn't even connect the dots at all. After school that day, I walked home like I always did. I was less than halfway there when I once again saw the car that was at my house earlier. I got a bad feeling. This guy was not who he claimed to be and I knew that. The car was parked on the side of the road again, on the side that I had to walk past. I sped up and started walking faster, but when I got even with the car, once again I heard him say something. His window was already down and the guy said hi. I looked over and said hi, all while continuing to walk. He then told me to stop. I didn't and ignored him. Then he said, you know I was in your school earlier. I stopped and couldn't believe what I was hearing. He then started to laugh and it was really creepy. He basically bragged about how they had locked the school down and he managed to escape. As he was saying this, he opened his car door and got out. I walked even faster until the guy started to run. 
Then, at that point, I had to start running too. Unfortunately, it seemed as though he was a little bit faster than I was. I could tell that he was gaining on him. I left the sidewalk and ran out into the middle of the road. Then came possibly one of the luckiest moments of my entire life. A car started driving down that otherwise quiet road. I ran straight for the car, and when I got close, noticed that it was somebody that I actually knew. It was one of my classmates, a guy named Matt. He saw me and stopped his car. I ran for the passenger side, but the man chasing me continued to come after me and was about 20 feet back. I got inside of Matt's car and told him to lock the doors. The guy chasing reached the car moments later. The doors locked, and the guy tried getting in and then began pounding on the door, but he couldn't. Matt asked me who this guy was, and I told him to just get out of there. He drove away, with the guy standing in the street. I explained to Matt as I got up my phone to call the police. I told them everything, and Matt dropped me off at my house a short time later. The police came out and talked with me and my parents, and said that they would look out for the car that I described. That same day, the man was located by the police. He had been stalking me for several days without me even knowing. I'm not sure exactly why he went into our school. Maybe he was waiting for me to get back to my locker. He could have honestly passed for a student because he looked young, but he was actually in his mid-twenties and not a student at all. This was years ago now, but I still remembered it all the time. I'm really glad Nat was driving by when he did. I don't know what would have happened to me if not. One day, I was in school for a seemingly average Thursday. I was a senior in high school and in my third hour history class. This was one of my favorite classes because the teacher was really cool. For the story, I'll just call him Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith was very laid back and would give us a lot of time to do homework in class. We would rarely have any actual homework because we could get it all done before we left. He would teach for a bit in the beginning and then the end of class would pretty much be like study hall. We could talk and get work done. He would even let us go on our phones or listen to music as we worked. So on this day, it was a normal class period. I often had my headphones in as I studied and I did on this day. We were working on our assignment and I got done early. I would joke around with Mr. Smith sometimes, as did other students. I remember that I went up to him to turn in my assignment and he asked me if I wanted to do him a favor. He said that he had to give back some iPads to another teacher. We had used them the previous day for a group assignment thing. There were about 10 iPads in this carrying case. I was happy to do this because there was something to do to get out of class. He let me a pass and I took the iPad case. It was supposed to go to a teacher's classroom that was a little ways away. I left the classroom with my head from still in and I unpaused my music. Then I started walking through the empty hallways to the other teacher's classroom. At this point, there was probably about 15 minutes left of class. Soon, I reached the classroom that I was supposed to go to. I tried opening the door, but it was locked. I could see in the window as well that all of the lights were off. I found this a bit odd, but quickly figured that the teacher wasn't there. She probably didn't teach a class during this hour or something. I turned around and started to head back to my classroom. I walked about halfway back when I saw something up ahead. There was a spot where two hallways intersected a ways up. I saw a man up ahead where I didn't recognize. He clearly wasn't a teacher, and I didn't think he worked at the school either. It struck me as suspicious right away. I only saw him for about a second or two because he passed by one hallway and into the other. He didn't look in my direction at all. The problem was that he was walking in the direction that my classroom was in. I kept walking up ahead, and when I got to where the man had walked past, I stopped and looked down the hallway first. When I did, I saw the guy again. He was a long ways down, near where my classroom was. It appeared as though he was looking for something. I didn't want to go down there, and I started walking in the opposite direction. I took out my headphones at that point. Everything was silent. I didn't really know where I was going anymore, and I was trying to figure out what exactly was going on. After walking around the empty hallways for like five minutes, I thought maybe the man was gone by then, and I started heading back for my class. When I got back to the hallway where I had last seen him, he was gone. I was just glad to see this, and I started walking down the hallway from my class. Just a few steps later though, I heard footsteps coming from behind me and around the corner. They were going towards me, and there were some bathrooms right there, so I just went inside. I didn't know who the person was, but I really didn't want them to see me. 
By now, I figured that they weren't supposed to be in the school. After going inside of the bathroom, at first, I just waited inside. But when the footsteps got closer, I moved into one of the stalls. The guy passed by and did not go inside. I waited a little while longer before looking out of the bathroom. When I did, I saw that the person was a ways down the hallway, once again, near where my class was. I left the bathroom and quickly tried to walk to the other hallway, away from this guy. I must have been loud or something when I did, because as I was walking, I heard movement behind me. I looked and saw the guy looking right at me. He turned and started walking in my direction. The guy was really far behind me, at least over a hundred feet. I walked as quickly as possible out of that hallway and took another one. By this point, I just wanted to get out of the school or far away from the guy. I walked down that hallway for a while and then took a weft to another one. I was going to the stairs to go down to the first floor. As I approached the stairs though, I heard somebody coming up the stairs. I stopped and didn't know who this person could be. When they came into view, I saw that it was a police officer. He asked me what I was doing and I asked him what was going on. He told me that the school was under a lockdown and they were searching for a suspicious man. I pointed him in the direction that I had last seen him. Then I went downstairs and saw several more officers. I showed them my student ID and we found a nearby classroom and I had to wait inside there until the lockdown was over. It lasted for probably about 15 more minutes and then it ended. We were let out and by then it was time for the next class period. I'm not sure who that guy was or what he was even doing. I also don't know how we got into our school either. I hadn't been able to hear that we were going in a lockdown though because my headphones were in and I couldn't hear anything. Looking back, if I would have known, I would have tried to go into any classroom. I don't know what would have happened to me if that guy caught up with me either, but I'm glad I didn't have to find out. I'm a teacher, and this is something that happened a couple of years ago. It was during my fourth year teaching at the high school that I still currently teach at. I teach math, and I had four different classes throughout the day that semester. It kept me very busy between teaching, preparing lessons, and braiding assignments. One day, about a month into the school year, I was teaching like any other. It was the first hour of the day, and I was in the middle of going through a problem on the whiteboard. That's when the phone rang in my classroom. I paused what I was doing and walked over to answer it. I was told the school was being locked down, and I wasn't told why. After that, the announcement came over the entire school intercom. Some of the kids in class started to talk and asked me what the cause of the lockdown was. I honestly didn't know and I told them that. I did what I was supposed to do and turned out the lights and locked the doors. I instructed the students to the back of the classroom. There were 20 kids in my class and they all did what I said but still wanted to know why we were in a lockdown. I knew this was not a drill and I was pretty curious myself. I went to my desk and sat down in the chair. Then we all just waited. Minutes went by, which felt like forever. After about 10 minutes, my cell phone started vibrating. It was on top of my desk and I picked it up to see who was calling me. It was a number that I didn't recognize. I was about to let it ring, but I thought it was possibly information about the lockdown. It may have been from another teacher whose number I didn't have yet. It could have been from another staff member as well. That's what was going through my mind in the moment. At the last minute, I accepted the call. I held the phone up to my ear and listened as I heard a man start to speak. I didn't really recognize his voice. He spoke professionally and told me that I was needed in the principal's office immediately. I asked why and I was told that it would be discussed when I got there. I was very confused. I said I couldn't leave my class and I was told that I needed to go anyways. Then he hung up. I saw my students looking at me, no doubt wondering what I was told on the phone. Then, one of them spoke up and asked. I told them the truth and said somebody asked me to the principals and I really didn't know why. I was debating whether I should go or not. I got up from my desk and walked over to the door. Then, I looked out the window and into the hallway. It was very empty. But then, I saw someone. It was sort of far to the left, just barely in my sight. There was a man standing there, wearing all black, including a ski mask. I quickly moved back after seeing him. One of the students asked me if I was going to go, and I said no, I wasn't. I told everyone to stay at the back of the class, and I joined them. I had no clue who the person in the hallway was, but the fact that they were wearing a ski mask could not be good. They were likely the reason for the lockdown. 
I didn't want my students to know that the person was so close though. Things were very silent for a few minutes. We couldn't hear anything from out in the hallways. It felt like forever, and the more time that went by, the more worried I became. I got another phone call on my phone from the same number, but I ignored it. They called back again, and at that point, I turned off my phone entirely. We all waited in the classroom for almost an hour. Finally, I got another call on my phone in the classroom. I walked over and picked it up. I was told that the lockdown was over, and then there was an announcement over the undercom letting us know. Class was over, and I let the students out. When I found out more details from the lockdown, I couldn't believe it. The person in the ski mask was a former student of our high school. He was also a former student of mine, who I had failed. He came back to the school, and he was the one who called me on my cell phone as well. I'm not sure how he got my number, but he did. He was trying to get me out of my classroom. I'm not sure what he was planning to do then, possibly attacked me. I don't want to think about that. Luckily, he was spotted by a faculty member, which sent the school into a lockdown. Eventually, the police came and were able to locate the suspect and catch him, although he was able to evade them for quite a while. I still can't believe it, even to this day. I can't imagine what would have happened had I left the classroom. It was too strange though, and I never really seriously considered it. I could tell that something was really suspicious. Still, I will never forget seeing him in the hallway. It was one of the scariest sights of my life. This happened in my freshman year of high school. That then, I would ride the bus to and from school every day. We would get there about 10 minutes before school started. After we got to school, I would usually go up to my locker and then get my book and head to my first class. I still remember this like it was yesterday, even though it was many years ago now. I got inside the school, locked up the stairs and headed to my locker, which happened to be on the second floor. As I was getting my books and notebook for class, the school intercom went off. I was confused and everyone around me looked confused as well. There was a message that followed, saying that the school was being locked down. We were told to report to our first hour classrooms. One of the teachers from a nearby classroom came out and started telling everybody to get to their classes. The hallways quickly became empty and I had to walk a ways to get to my first class. The longer I walked, the fewer kids were around me. I had to go back downstairs and when I got to the stairs, nobody else was near me at all. As I started to go down the staircase, I got about halfway down and was about to turn the corner to go down the rest of them. I heard what sounded like multiple people running coming from right down the staircase. I instance kicked in and I turned around. It didn't sound good and my first thought was that it was related to the lockdown. I decided to take another way to get to my class. I would walk back up the stairs, go down the hallway and then go down another staircase and take that one. But when I started walking down the hallway, I heard whoever had been running going up the stairs and they were running up the stairs as well. I didn't want whoever this was to see me, and I turned the corner and went down a different hallway. I panicked and went into the bathroom that was in that hallway. I was just too scared to go all the way back to my classroom. I thought the person might start running and catch up to me or something. I didn't know who the person was behind me. When I got inside the bathroom, I went in one of the stalls and locked the door. I didn't expect whoever had come upstairs to even go near the bathroom. I just wanted to wait until I was sure they were gone but I soon heard footsteps approaching, and then they actually entered the bathroom. My heart started racing like crazy. I hadn't expected it at all. The person stopped. I was right inside the bathroom for maybe 10 seconds. I was afraid they were going to walk over to where I was or something, but they didn't. I walked back out the bathroom door and then left. I remained where I was for probably another minute. Then I very carefully got out and went back into the hallway. I looked around and didn't see or hear anyone. It was all very quiet. I carefully walked to the nearest stairs and went down. Then I went to my first hour classroom. I knocked on the door and was let in. Everybody inside seemed concerned about the lockdown and I told the teacher about the guy that I had seen. We stayed locked down for probably 30 more minutes before it was finally over. Then things resumed into a normal school day. I had never seen that guy, but apparently he was found hiding in a different bathroom. I think he was going to try to hide in the bathroom that I was in. For we saw me in there, he decided to leave. It stirred you through the creeps to think about it. When 
I was in high school, I played on the basketball team. I played several sports, but basketball was always my best one. During my senior year of high school, and sometime during the basketball season, is when the story took place. I remember that during that semester, I had an open hour where I did not have any class. This was common for seniors in my school. Sometimes you could go to school an hour later or leave early. But for me, I would go to the school and practice basketball. One of the gyms was always open because we had a few of them. There was no class in the back gym or rarely ever a class there. I would just practice basketball and shoot hoops all by myself, which I really enjoyed. On this one day, it was like any other. I went to the locker room first and changed, then I went into the back gym. I would keep an eye on the clock as I practiced here and there. I knew it was about halfway through the class period when I heard the intercom. There was a beep and then I heard that the school was going into a lockdown. I wasn't really sure what to think at first. I thought that maybe it was a drill, but it also could have been real. I was already by myself in the gym and I figured that it wouldn't matter if I just stayed there. The doors to the gym were already closed, but I had no ability to lock them or anything. I just kept practicing, thinking it wasn't that big of a deal and not taking it all that serious. I was dribbling and shooting in the back court when I heard a door to the other gym open. There was a large divider which separated the back court that I was in from another court next to me. That court was also empty and not in use at the time. I thought maybe it was a teacher entering. Somebody was going to tell me that I had to leave the gym or something. I picked up the basketball and held it, waiting for the person to reach me. They walked right up to the other side of the divider, but then stopped. There was probably just a couple of feet of space between the divider and the wall. You had to kind of move it to go around it to the other side. The person wasn't coming to this side though. I didn't see them at all either. I kept waiting. About a minute went past, and I could tell the person was right on the other side. I thought about saying something or going over there, but I decided not to. It seemed kind of weird. I walked back over to the locker room instead. I made my way out of the basketball court and through the doorways into the hallway. I didn't hear the person on the other side of the divider moving or walking at all as I walked out there. Then, I headed the short ways to the locker room. It was maybe like 40 feet. Obviously, nobody was out in the hallway. I reached the locker room, but after trying the door, it was locked. At first, I didn't really know what to do. I thought about going back into the gym, but then I decided to find another classroom. It was eerily quiet. There were no classrooms immediately nearby, so I had to turn to the left and go down that hallway for a little while. Finally, I was in the science hallway, and I found the first classroom. I knocked on the door several times. Soon, I saw the teacher look through the small window of the door and then open it for me. It was a teacher who knew me, which was good, and I was let into the class. I asked if anybody knew what the lockdown was about. I didn't really get an answer, though. Soon, I would find out. About 20 or 30 minutes later, the lockdown was finally lifted. The class was let out, and we all went to our next hour classes. The word spread of the lockdown and I found out it was because a man had broken into the school. He had been found hiding inside of the gym. It was then that I realized it was most likely the same person who had been on the other side of the divider in the gym with me 